Hello everyone and welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this video, we will be seeing the output characteristics of CE transistor or BJT. So here I have drawn a figure which is the output characteristic of CE transistor. CE stands for common emitter configuration of transistor. We have discussed this part in the previous videos. So if you'd like to go through it, you can check the previous videos. So here, let's see what is the output characteristic. Now, let's recall what is input current and what is output current. Now, base current is nothing but your input current and collector current is nothing but your output current. Okay, so input current, let's denote current by I. So, IB, which is my base current, is my input current and output current is IC. Now, if you look at the figure carefully, you can see that I have written different values of base current IB over here and corresponding to this input current, I have some output current which is IC which is shown on the left hand side. Now, we can see that for this value of input current IB equal to 0.1 milliampere's you have output current IC as 5 milliampere's. So all the current values that we have taken are in milliampere's. We have written milliampere over here which is for input current as well as milliampere for output current. But you can see the value is very very small over here. It is only 0 0.1 milliamps or milliampere's for what we are getting output as 5 milliampere's. So now we can see there is definitely some kind of amplification that is happening over here. Again we can move ahead and we can see for this value of input current IB equal to 0 0.2 milliamps the output current is 10 milliamps. Again there is a lot of amplification which is happening. Also you can see when the input current IB is equal to 0 milliamps when there is no input current present you can see still there is certain slope over here meaning there is some kind of current present on the output side right so now let's see what that is now i c which is my output current it is equal to beta i b plus beta plus 1 i c b o so i c is equal to this equation which is true for all transistor configurations okay so IC is nothing but your output current beta is your amplification factor in case of common emitter configuration IB is your base current or your input current and beta again is your amplification factor ICBO is common base current. Now what is this common base current? This is nothing but reverse saturation current in case of common base configuration and this whole term over here is equal to ICEO. This is reverse saturation current in case of common emitter configuration. Now here you can see that IB is equal to 0 and when you substitute the value of IB over here you can see IC is still equal to beta plus 1 ICBO or we can say it is equal to ICEO. So we can see that when IB is equal to 0 still we have this term present. This is nothing but reverse saturation current and reverse saturation current is nothing but leakage current. So even when no input current is present, there is some leakage current present on the output side. So let's come back and see that the output characteristics can be divided into three different regions. Okay. So I have drawn a dotted line over here separating these two parts. So let's call the right part from this dotted line as region A. On the left hand side beyond this dotted line let's call this region as region B 
and this region below IB equal to 0 milliamps, let's call it as region C. Now we can see that in region A, when my input current is equal to suppose 0 0.1 milliamps, my output current is 5 milliamps. So certainly amplification is happening, right? So in this region A, amplification is taking place. And if you remember the chart that I showed to you all in the previous video, the region of operation table, in that I showed it to you that if amplification is taking place, the region of operation is nothing but active region of operation, right? So since in region A, amplification is taking place, it is nothing but active region, right? Now let's move ahead and see what is region B. Now you can see on the x-axis we have VCE and VCE is nothing but voltage across your collector and emitter which is nothing but your output voltage. Now when we drew the output characteristic of the CE transistor, we drew IC which is my output current versus my output voltage VCE. So on the x axis I have VCE which is my output voltage. So here if the output voltage is positive, certainly over here beyond this part it is nothing but minus VCE, isn't it? So here our output voltage is negative. Let's draw the diode representation of a BJT. So we can draw it like this. So this is your base, this is your collector and this is your emitter, right? So uh, generally my a uh, CE transistor, if it is working as an amplifier, it is an active region. And if my uh, BJT is or my transistor is an active region, my collector and base region are reverse biased and emitter and base region are forward biased. VCE is the output voltage, which is nothing but the voltage across the collector and emitter terminal. So VCE is the addition of the voltage across collector base terminal and emitter base terminal, right? So we can write that VCE is the addition of VCB plus VBE. Okay, now as we saw that VCE is negative in this B region. So let's make it negative. So VCE is negative. Now if you remember, collector base terminal is reverse bias. Now if we say it is a reverse biasing potential, certainly it means it is a negative potential, right? So but we can see here that it is positive the collector base potential or voltage is positive over here. So VCB is equal to minus VCE minus VBE. So VCB is positive. So if VCB is positive, it means that now it is not acting as a reverse biasing potential since it is positive. And if it is positive, Certainly, this diode which was reverse bias, here we have VCB, right, between the collector and base. Generally, it is reverse bias, meaning its potential is negative. But we can see that VCB is positive. So if VCB is positive potential, it means now it is positive and if it is positive, this diode which was reverse bias, now it is forward bias. 
right? So if this diode is forward bias and also this diode is forward bias, what does this mean? If this diode is forward bias, it means that the collector base junction is forward bias and the emitter base junction is also forward bias. So again, you will have to go back to the region of operation table and you will have to see when both the junctions are forward bias, the region of operation is nothing but saturation region. So region B is nothing but saturation region. Now let's see what is region C. Now region C is beyond this point where IB is equal to 0 milliamps. Now as you can see even when IB is equal to 0 a certain leakage current is flowing over here. So if some leakage current is flowing over here which is equal to now IC which is your output current is equal to ICEO. This is nothing but leakage current which we saw previously. So when IB is equal to 0, there is some kind of leakage current flowing and you have some leakage current present at the output side. So beyond this point where IB is even lesser than 0, right? If IB is less than 0 beyond this point, what is VCE? VC is obviously much more greater then IB and because of that this diode which is between uh, C and B which is your collector and base this is going to be at reverse biasing potential. Also since IB is less than 0 it is certainly negative or it is less than 0 so hence it because it is less than 0 the current the current direction the direction of IB is going to change it is going to be outwards. So this is IB which is flowing outwards and since it is flowing outwards this biasing potential is going to be reverse bias. So here we will have a reverse biasing potential. Now since both the diodes or both the junctions are reversed bias according to the region of operation table we can say that region C is nothing but cutoff region of operation. So region C is cutoff region. So this is all for the output characteristics of CE transistor. Let's summarize what all we saw. So output characteristics is nothing but output current versus output voltage that is IC versus VCE and then we divided the diagram or this figure into three different parts. So we named region A, region B and region C respectively and then we analyzed what is region A, what is region B and what is region C and then we saw and we concluded that region A is active region, region B is saturation region and region C is cutoff region of operation. So in the next video, we will be seeing different kinds of biasing techniques. Thank you for watching.